An investigation has been launched into an outbreak of tuberculosis at Osborne Park Hospital. So far, 11 staff have been diagnosed with a non-infectious form of the disease, but nearly 30 are yet to be tested. Essie Deves has the latest. More than 100 staff at Osborne Park Hospital were in danger of being exposed to tuberculosis after a former patient who was admitted for an unrelated condition in May was eventually diagnosed with TB in July. Since then, 11 staff, including nurses, have tested positive to an inactive form of the disease. Almost 70 employees were cleared, while another 28 are yet to be screened. We've contacted them at least twice by mail. However, we are still actively um, pursuing these staff members and really would encourage them to come and have the appropriate testing. Those 28 are still working at the hospital and while the health department can't guarantee they're not carrying the infectious strain, it says the risk of catching the disease is low. The hospital says it can't force the employees to be tested. These um, staff employees would present minimal risk. Experts say because the identified strain isn't active, there's no need for the public to be worried. There's a very minimal chance that they, they can reactivate, but that is not happen very quickly. That can happen any time. That's why we're following them, them up and then offering preventive medication. The Nurses Federation claims the hospital is covering up the issue. If any of those staff were active, then they would have been putting other staff at risk, other patients at risk, met their families at risk and the community at risk. And that's the problem here. It does seem that something went wrong. Uh, maybe procedures weren't kept to, but I have no real information on it. An independent review has begun into the way the outbreak has been managed. Essie Deves, 10 News.